This video is a presentation of Air Canada. This is a company listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange. We're looking at the Class B shares. Air Canada trades under ticker AC. I scaled this chart out to show how Air Canada's had a real nice climb going back about seven, eight months ago from down near a dollar point all the way up to near 350. Now it's fallen off substantially, but it has a real strong support level right here around two dollars, and it looks like that's going to hold again. On Tuesday, stock pushed upward, gained almost five percent to close at 206. So I think it's a chart worth keeping an eye on for some continued upward pressure. And see how it racks at the first resistance point, right up around two dollars and thirty cents, but then a stronger resistance up around two fifty. I see the MACDs just dropped a bullish cross. Histogram bars have popped back through zero. Positive sign for a shift of bullishness in the trend, especially coming off this support level. Now with that, the slow stow, it's a gauge of momentum coming out of oversold territory, right down scraping bottom on zero. But now starting to rise, registering a 21.5 as of Tuesday's close. You see the money flow index finally starting to trend upward and breaking through 50 for the first time since a little move right through here back in April where the stock just put together a nice technical bounce when it dove off hard. Again, it's a positive sign for money coming into the chart. It says stock price is trading at higher prices over the 14-day period. And it goes right along with the shifting trend as well as further indications from the RSI, which is also coming out of oversold territory and now registering near 40. Again, showing building momentum in the play. So while this move's still pretty new, the indicators are showing signs of an early shift in trend towards bullishness. Now for me, the most important thing is without question holding this support level just below $2. If that support level does fall, there is some more support on the bottom side of that old channel right around $1.60. But right now, with this starting to roll off the bottom, this $1.90, $1.95 mark is the key point for me. And I'd really want to see that stay intact to allow these indicators to continue to shift towards bullishness. Now the first resistance I see coming into play is right there around $2.25. That was a pretty strong support level on the climb. And Classic TA says that support, once it's broken, turns into resistance. So that's why I look for resistance to start to pick up. But closing at 206, that's about a 10% upside. And I'd look for it to be stronger up around 250. Now at this point, we're talking about 20% gains, which is a pretty nice return. And if it goes up and breaks through that level, I would read that as $2 being identified as another bottom in the overall uptrend of this chart. Now, I'm not too worried about going beyond that, but I do see some more resistance up around $2.75 and $3, and certainly the old tops up near $3.40. But I picked this chart today because of the strong support level it's sitting on and the indicators making their turns. And I think this is one to keep an eye on going forward to see if Air Canada is going to put together another nice climb and generally continue the uptrend off the bottom that was established late in 2012. Those are the type of things that I'd be looking for in the AC chart. But as always, merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the allpennystocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. I do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or its video chart. No person employed by Allpenny Stocks, registered investment advisor, or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.